Today I will show you how to convert your double chain ring mountain bike in a single chain ring mountain bike. Remove the right crank car using an 8mm hexagonal wrench. Using a plastic hammer will help you. Clean the axle and be sure not to lose the spacer. Remove the four screws retaining the smaller chain ring with a 5mm hexagonal branch. Remove the four screws retaining the bigger chain ring. Using a 5 and a 6 mm hexagonal branches. Remove the rear wheel undoing the true axle. Use missing link pliers to unhook the fake link. Slide off the chain. Spray some lubricant on the cassette lock ring. With a lock ring removal tool and the chin whip, you can undo the lock ring, and a big wrench can help you. Clean the front wheel with spray lubricant. Apply some new grease on the free wheel. Here is the cheap 1150 10 speed cassette. Slide it on the front wheel, matching the bigger spline. Q 
skew the lock ring to 40 newton meters. Reinstall the rear wheel. And tighten the true axle. This is the rear derailleur spacer that allows you to install a bigger cassette. Use a 5mm hexagonal wrench to remove the rear derailleur. Put some grease on the board. and install the spacer. Now install the rear derailleur. Now you have to adjust the positions of the lower and the higher gear of the derailleur. These are the adjusting screws. First, you have to align the rear derailleur with the higher gear. Rotate the adjusting screw clockwise with a 4mm hexagonal wrench. You can see that now it's aligned. Lock the derailleur and repeat the same process for the lower gear. Now you have to remove the front derailleur, the cable, cable lines, front shifter. Use a Torx 25 wrench to remove the front derailleur screws. Loose the cable undoing its retaining bolt with a 5mm hexagonal wrench. Cut the cable pin. Cut the cable ties. Loose the cable retainers with a 4mm hexagonal branch.
front shifter with a 3mm hexagonal wrench. Now install the 30T chain ring on the crank arm, like shown. Put some medium thread locker on the bolts. Screw the bolts in a crisscross pattern using a 5mm hexagonal branch. I've made four plastic caps to cover the remaining threads on the crankset. 7.5 mm internal diameter and 12.4 mm external diameter. Add some anti-size grease before installing the right crankset. Don't forget the spacer. Install the right crankset using an 8mm hexagonal branch. The correct tightening torque is from 48 to 54 newton meters. Slide on the chain. helps you to find the correct chain length. Use a chain tool to remove the links.
the chain with the missing link. The chain must not scrape on itself when we use the highest gear. Per regolare il cambio, diamo uno scatto e regoliamo tirando il filo, quindi sfidando il cavo, per metterlo, sfidando il regolatore per mettere in tensione il cavo. So, if you like my video, click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.